Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 20 of I Create Content. All right, appreciate you guys being here today. It's Wednesday and we're about halfway through the week. If you caught Monday's episode, I was talking about sorting and ranking images inside of the library module inside of Lightroom. Today I've got a quick tip for you. I'm going to show you how to create layer style presets inside of Photoshop. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen in front of you, I've got a black canvas as my background. I've got the styles panel open and the layers panel open. I'm going to grab the type tool. I'm going to add some text to the screen. I'm going to just kind of move this text into place. And what I want you to see is the styles panel lets you do one click text effects or really one click effects to any specific layer. So as I click on these, I want you to see that the effects are actually listed on the layers panel. The default style is in the top left corner and that is actually no effects or none. So what we're going to do is create our own series of effects and then save them as a preset in the styles panel. So what I'll do first is go to the layers panel click on the effects button and I'm going to select a bevel and emboss. I'm going to move this so that you can kind of see the uh, screen and the text at the same time. And what I'll do is I'm going to play around with the gloss contour. I want to create kind of a chrome look to my text. So I'm going to start by clicking on this uh, ring setting for the gloss contour. I want this to be real bright. So I'm going to set both of these opacities to 100%. And then I'll play around with the actual bevel Hey, I want to do, I guess, an outer bevel today, play around with the depth, play around with the size. So you can see here's kind of that chrome shiny coming up behind it, play around with the depth, and that kind of moves how the gloss is going across hey, the face of the text. So I think I want to have it right about there, right, that looks all right. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add satin to it. This is going to give it kind of a finish. Now, I don't want it to be gray. This is kind of a little bit too dull for my taste. But what I'm going to do again is play around with this contour setting and figure out which contour I like best I is shading against my chrome. I think I like this one today. And then I'm just going to reduce the opacity on that. So I want just a little bit of shading on it, not too much. It's got a little bit of finish, but it's not too dull. I'll go and uh, place one more item. I'm going to do a gradient overlay and I'm just going to drop the opacity on that. So there's a little bit of shading there at the bottom. So I think that's pretty good. So this is the preset that I want, right? Have all those settings. The moment that I click OK, that's going to be saved to this layer, but I want to be able to one-click access it again for other documents, right? So right in the layer style panel, you have new style. You can take this, go ahead, and change this and say Chrome text. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and close the layer style dialog box by clicking OK. There are my effects applied, but more importantly, right here in the styles panel, the very last icon is the one that I created. So now I can do one click access. Here are the effects turned off, and here are the effects instantly turned on. So I could actually apply that to any set of layers that I want. Okay? It doesn't have to be just text, but I specifically set it up for a text layer. Right? So that's the way that you create your preset. More importantly, you could look at existing presets and then edit them to how you see fit for your document. So if you take a close look at the layer style panel, these are the default effects that come with Photoshop. There are a whole host of effects here in the actual panel options. So I'm going to grab Text Effects 2. I get a prompt. It asks me if I want to replace what I see in the Styles panel or append to it. I'll go ahead and hit Append because I don't want to erase what's there. Now I can click through these styles. So as I click through, I might find one that I actually like. Hey, that one's kind of interesting. But I do kind of like this one. It's a little shinier, I think, than my Chrome text. I like the fact that it's kind of bright. Well, now that I have this particular effect applied, 
I can edit it. So I'll just go right to the Layers panel, double click, here's the Layer Style dialog box. Now I can look at how they created this particular effect. So it uses a bevel and emboss. They did not use the same contour. Notice I could go and tweak it and see what happens when I place my contour on it that I used. I can also see the settings that they used here. They used a contour setting. Notice the finish that gives that. They also used a color overlay. It looks like it was just a, looks like a gray overlay that doesn't do a whole lot. And then the big thing they have is a gradient. So this color gradient is applied across the finish of the text. So now I can actually analyze this particular style, fine tune it, and make it my own. So I'll do a couple settings changes here. I'm actually going to take the gradient editor and I will just pull out some of the darker colors. I'm just going to leave the blue in. I'll do that. And then I'll go ahead, reduce the opacity a little bit. I'm going to go back here. I think I like the ring setting that I had. It crunches it up a little bit. I'll play around with the depth. There we go. Play around with the size. Now I've made some changes. I think I'll add some satin to it. Again, for some shading. But I'm going to drop that back just a little bit. And now I've got a new version of this particular preset. I can go ahead and hit New Style. And I'll just call this blue steel. Go ahead and click OK. That's now saved in the Styles panel. It'll always be the last style in the list. So I can instantly turn this off. Here's the first Chrome text I created, and then here's the second one, blue steel. So that's a quick way that you can create layer style presets, your own layer style presets inside of Photoshop. If you want to save these, if you want to save these and share them with other people, you would simply go to the Styles panel and then simply say Save Styles. Please remember when you do Save Styles, it's going to grab everything you see in the list. So if you want to save off your own four, five, six presets, make sure those are the only things showing inside the Styles panel. So my name is AJ Wood. Appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you really like the channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can leave me questions on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. You can visit my website, ajwood.com, or leave me comments here on YouTube. So as always, appreciate your time, and I will see you guys on Friday.